Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So the other day, I got to watch Kristaps Porzingis do his debut game on the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, first game, what, like one and a half to two years, something crazy like that. And I liked what I saw. I definitely liked what I saw from Kristaps and Luka Doncic. Like that right there, that's going to be a beast-ass team, man, for years to come. But with that being said, as I was watching that game, there's uh, there's definitely like things out there that I was seeing from Chris Tops where it's like, okay, I really want the team to utilize him this certain way. Uh, so for today's video, we are going to be doing a Dallas Mavericks rebuild, and I'm going to try to make this team a championship team. Uh, but before we get going on that, if you guys can please drop a like on this video, man. Remember, it only takes a second of your time, and it really does help grow the channel. Thank you guys all so much for that, man. As always, the like goal is 1,000 likes. And uh, so what am I talking about when it comes to Chris Tops Porzingis? Well... I want to use him at the center position. Um, it seems like he might be playing power forward for the most part, but the reason I like him at center is just because, you know, when you put him at that fourth spot, it's like, yes, he does have the length over pretty much every single power forward in the NBA. But with that being said, being 7'3", he pretty much has the length over every single center in the NBA too. The thing is, though, is that Christoph Porzingis is a lot quicker than what I think people give him credit for. So when you put him at that fourth spot... That speed advantage is not as big because, of course, other power forwards in the NBA, you know, in small ball lineups um, are also very quick. So you kind of lose a little bit of that speed factor where if you point him at that center spot, I saw him playing against Andre Drummond, and he was pretty much getting every single shot over him that he wanted to do, man. Have that be post-ups, you know, pulling up on the mid-range, pulling up from three, anything out there Chris Topps could do. And that's because he had that speed on Andre Drummond who just could not stay in front of him. And just due to Chris Topps having just this array of moves out there. Um, was able to do anything on the court he wanted to, man. So I do like him, you know, at that center spot. Or at least, you know, if teams wanted to go out there and, uh, you know, have their centers play defense, Chris Tops Porzingis, even better yet. But yeah, man. So I'm going to be running him at the uh, center spot. Luka Doncic, to me, is a small forward. I know he can play point guard, shooting guard. I'm running up the small forward position. And then you get to the rest of the team. And I feel like that's kind of where it needs work. It's like, yes, you do have some nice players out there. But I, I think this team could get a lot better, a lot quicker with just a few simple trades out there. I know one, of course, would be uh, probably a better, more like natural starting point guard. You know, DeLon Wright, I think, is in for a good season. He's a good defensive guy, can make three-point shots. Uh, Jalen Brunson seems like he should Well, where was he drafted, man? Uh, yeah, he was drafted in the second round, third pick. It seems like he should have been drafted higher than that. Looks very promising. You know, um, you got Seth Curry, good three-point shooter. Maxi Kleber's fine. Uh, Dwight Powell's fine. But... I just feel like in a stacked Western Conference, this team could get a lot better, a lot quicker, man. So, yes, we are going to be doing some doing some trades out there. Um, the first trade I want to do, there is a guy that was almost brought here during the offseason. The trade ended up getting revoked for whatever reason. I don't remember why. Um, but, yes, it is actually going to be... Where's he at? Yo, where's he at, man? Goran Dragic. Yes, 7-9 overall. The reason I want Goran Dragic on this team is because I feel like in the short term of things, it gives us a nice serviceable point guard. He's only on a one-year deal, so that's a lot of money that is expired you know, after this season for us to go for a different type of point guard or whatever we really need to do out there. Um, but yes, we do have five trade offers. So Delon Wright, I actually do kind of want to keep. Maybe more so for a shooting guard, though. Uh, Jalen Brunson, Dwight Powell, not a bad trade. We also get a first-round pick out of it, so that's a uh, pretty big W. Plus, we get out of Dwight Powell's five-year contract. I know it says two years, but yes, he actually has a five-year deal. Uh, Tim Hardaway and J.J. Barea. We also get Myers Leonard back. That's actually not a bad sign right there uh, because Tim Hardaway, of course... Has another year to left on his contract. Well, I might hold off on that for right now. Uh, here we get Dwight Powell, J.J. Borea. I cannot trade away J.J., guys. I can't do it. And then Maxi Kleber and J.J. Borea. Okay, so I'm going to do this trade right here. Uh, probably of... Man, I said I don't want to trade Tim Hardaway. I, I can't do it, man. So I think I'm going to do this trade right here. Jalen Brunson, Dwight Powell. Because I do have another backup plan, guys. That would probably require Jalen Brunson to not really be part of the rotation anymore anyway. And plus getting that first round pick is going to be a W for us. So we got that. So, okay, we got a 33-year-old starting point guard. Okay, that's a start. We need a backup plan. We, we, we need the guy that can get mentored by Goran Dragic and the rest of the team, but also help the team in the short term. And there's one player out there, there's one specific, uh, particular, particular point guard that is available, I would hope so, for the right price. Plays for the Cleveland Cavaliers. No better player to play on this team than Colin Sexton. Colin Sexton is a scoring first point guard. So you want him on a team where you got playmakers at other positions. Luka Doncic, who wants that ball in his hands, right? I feel like Colin Sexton would play perfectly off of Luka. And uh, hopefully we can get him for a pretty good price. So here we got Dragoran Dragic, Luka Doncic. Oh my god, okay, well. 
There goes my backup bitch ass playing right there. And I gotta take on Brandon Knight. It's, you don't gotta play your option though, right? Okay. Wow. I mean, I'm not tricking, I'm not training Luke, I'm not training Chris Stops. And I guess I'm gonna think more about long term than short term. I really want you on my team, Goron. That's the way the bitch ass cookie crumbles, man. The trade had to happen. Title of the video, right? The trade had to happen, man. I don't feel good about that, Goron. He probably went out there and bought you a nice Oh my god, you have to go from Dallas to Cleveland? I'm sorry, Goron. I did I did not mean that, but that's kind of how it happened, right? Okay, well, so I do want to go out there and still find, like, another point guard that can be, like, my short-term starter on this team. Or I could just give the reins of the team to Colin Sexton and have him, like, start right away. That might not be, like, the worst idea out there. Let me do this. Let me go and put uh, DeLon Wright as shooting guard. He goes to a 7-9 overall. JJ Brea trying to start for whatever reason. That's not going to happen. We got Colin Sexton right there. Okay, so maybe we just go out there and give JJ Brea some minutes this season. We also got Seth Curry on the team. Um, I think I would probably actually give the minutes to Seth Curry at this point of their NBA careers. But yes, we will. Damn, we won't really got much of a power forward either, guys. We got a lot of work to do for this team, man. It definitely not complete yet, man. Definitely not complete yet. Okay, let's go over to Trade Finder. Find ourselves a power forward. Um, Maxi Kleber. He's got an A minus three point shot. He might actually be able to play that position for the short term out there. He's got 83 point shot, 80 min range, 6 11. So yeah, we're going to go with him just as like a stretch big. All right, so we are actually already got the solutions on the team. So he goes. To a 7-8 overall, it's actually really nice. And then we got Boban off the bench. So, yes, that will be our starting five. Although, of course, Colin Sexton uh, is going to start at point guard. Because we got, you know, we got to start training them young out there, right, man? To build that chemistry with this team. And, like, this season, I'm honestly not really expecting playoffs. I'm really not. Um, but I'm expecting the team, you know, to at least look promising out there. Which is what all, really sometimes all you need out there, right? But, yeah, so we got that right there. Nine-man rotation. I'm going to put uh, Seth Curry. At shooting guard goes to 77 and then Tim Hardaway probably at the small forward position that should be fine for us right there and like I said DeLon right for his defense is going to start which is going to help Colin Sexton out we got plenty of scoring in the starting five we definitely need the defense out there but yes I actually really like this team a lot there man this team's actually looking really crispy so far and uh I would say by like the third season this rebuild will probably be close to a championship team as long as Luca and Chris Sops continue to develop and then of course Colin Sexton I know he can get to be like an 85 overall point guard um, so yeah, let's go ahead and we got three and a half start with, uh, balance system with Rick Carlisle. Good with that. And as far as player mentorships, um, I guess I will go ahead and have, where's he at? Where's he at, man? Colin Sexton. He is going to be mentored by maybe Luka Doncic, I guess. Well, difficult shots, flexible release and dimer. So we're going to go with there. Okay. I think we got it down, man. And then, of course, next offseason, um, because we should have some decent money freed up. Decent, not, 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 not like great money, but decent money freed. Oh, my God, man, got a freaking 40 or $32 million contract. It's all good. Um, no, we should have a little money freed up, maybe to fill out the holes uh, as we need to. We can probably just make some more trades and everything also, guys. Um, but, yes, that is the team as of right now. Let's go ahead and simulate this first NBA season and see just how good this Dallas Mavericks team can really do. Okay, so 34 wins, which is definitely not a playoff team in the Western Conference. Hopefully, it's enough to get us, like, a pretty good lottery pick. I think, I don't really know what the Dallas Mavericks draft pick situation is. Um, but that would just be, like, another good, like, piece to add to the puzzle as we go on with this rebuild right here. So, here are the awards for you guys all to see. And not seeing any Dallas Mavericks on here, but it's all good, man. It's all good. Always got them haters, right? And, yes, we are not in the playoffs. But, more importantly, how did we do in the regular season well i guess not more importantly but in this circumstance so poor zing is playing the center position guys 26 points 10 rebounds uh two blocks per game absolutely fantastic luca has 16 points eight rebounds seven assists so i believe his scoring is actually down quite a bit from his rookie season not by like too much but i guess you know when you have guys out there like uh poor zing is you're gonna get less shots but look at this field goal percentage 57 percent 45 percent from three consistent right Colin Sexton, 15 points, 4 assists, uh, pretty good numbers for him. Not as good as rookie season, but definitely not bad nonetheless. Uh, Tim Hardaway, J.J. Barea, DeLon Wright, all those guys did fine out there. And uh, Maxi Kleber at power forward actually was hoping for a bit better out of him, man. Like, he only shot, I guess he shot six times a game, which isn't, like, too low, not too high. Probably just about right. But, uh, yeah, I was hoping a little bit better out of him, but it's all good, man. Okay, so let's simulate these playoffs. Go ahead and get to the NBA draft. And we do have the Los Angeles Lakers beating the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, four games to LeBron James as your finals MVP. All right, man. Let's get it. 
off-season time. That's what I was born for, man. Well, not particularly not at first, but then I decided to do videos one day, and now I'm doing rebuilds, right? Okay, so staff signing. We still got Rick Carl uh, signed up. I love Rick Carl. Our guy's one of my favorite coaches in the NBA. I don't like the D offense. It's not great, but I'm not going to fire him, guys. I'm going to keep him around for right now. I know Dallas Maverick fans really like the guy. At least last time I checked. Maybe you guys don't like him now for whatever reason. So, yes, we are going to go straight to the NBA draft. And uh, like I was saying, I don't really know what our pick situation is. Let's go ahead and sim to a user pick. And we got the eighth pick in the draft, so that's definitely not bad, man. Okay, uh, we are going to check out some prospects here first. Because, like, I guess I really don't know what I would want from this draft all that much, man. Maybe, like, a good power forward. So, we got Isaiah Roby right here. Jemiah Robinson Earl. We got Jalen Smith. We got Jaden McDaniels, who's always a very nice player. His uh, ceiling is Daniel Marshall. So, definitely a stretch big out there, right? Okay, I guess just to see. Yo, we got that update required. Jeez, I will fix that in a little bit here, guys. Uh, let's do our eighth pick. Let's do our next year's first. And let's do Maxi Kleber. See what that gets us. You never really know. Uh, Zach Levine. Oh, and, oh, my God. And Anthony Edwards? Oh, my God, man. I'd be stupid not to do that, right? Lamella. Oh, we got Lamella. Okay, this one's not bad either, guys. Lamella Ball, who I was actually thinking about wanting to get anyway. John Morant. And then we got Bradley Beal. So this one's nice right here. Thing is, I, I don't really have any use for Anthony Edwards. I just don't. Like, I got Luka at the three. I have Zach Levine at the two. That's a fantastic trade. It just does not make sense in this case for me, man. I think I'm going to go with Kevin Love and LaMelo Ball. Just because, like, Kevin Love fixes our power forward position. LaMelo Ball becomes, like, a damn star in this game. And I'm probably actually going to run him at shooting guard. Um, I was thinking maybe Bradley Beal. But, uh, you know, he's only on a one-year deal. No guarantee we actually get him back. Like, he would resign with us. And Kevin Love, we got locked up for a bit. And plus, getting LaMelo Ball on a, uh, on a rookie contract makes um, Kevin Love's contract look a lot better out there. So, we're definitely going to go with this one right here. But, yes, yeah, so LaMelo will be the shooting guard of this team. So, he was actually the first pick in the draft at 6-7. Team player options, Luka back, Tim Hardaway accepted, Colin Sexton back. Um, and we got Justin Jackson. So, defensively, the team might struggle a little bit because of having a backcourt of Colin and also LaMelo. But the playmaking is definitely there where hopefully it does help Colin Sexton's offensive game and things like that, right? Okay. Qualifying offers. I actually like this guy's game quite a bit. He uh, develops me a really nice shooter in 2K. Moratorium period. Not like too much money going on right here. Uh, which is fine. I guess I probably want to get myself a, a better backup center. Because Bob, I, I mean like Boban, he did okay for us, I guess. More like a Jeff Green. I was like Jeff Green. So we got to get rid of Justin Jackson, Courtney Lee, Ryan... Brandon Knight, it's all good, man. Okay, so we got Jeff Green on the team. Nice veteran. Nice nice stretch four off the bench. Um, and besides for that, let's get out of the moratorium period real quick here. J.J. Barea still available on the bird rights. Got to get him back, right? Is J.J. Barea. I'll give that dude a $2 trillion contract if I could. Um, shooting guards. Still got Tyreek Evans. Th uh, Thalbosa Felosha. Yeah, pretty much good to go here. Um, not a lot of changes to be made. I'm going to go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season, get my rotation all set, and uh, yeah, I'll see what this team's looking like. Okay, guys, so here is the team coming into the uh, beginning of the second season. Definitely a championship team, if you ask me, man. Colin Sexton at point guard, 81 overall. Lamel Ball at the two spot at 83 overall. Luka, 92 overall. Kevin Love, 85 overall. Chris Tops at a 90 overall. Then the bench unit gets even better, guys. Tim Hardaway, so this seems like a perfect scoring six-man off the bench. Seth Curry, DeLon Wright, and Boban Marjanovic. And, of course, we got Jeff Green, J.J. Barea, guys like that. You know, veterans out there uh, that would be used in different circumstances as needed. So, we have a uh, four-star balance system. I'm so very nervous about the offense. But what I'm hoping is because Greg Carlisle does have a B-plus defense is that, okay, because defensively the team's not the greatest. So, maybe that will up that, and the offense will just take care of itself despite having a D from the coach. Uh, so, yes. No other changes to make. This team should... I don't know if they won a championship this season because they're still extremely young. Like, look how young this team is, man. 21, 25. Oh, you old ass. Uh, 19, 21. Kind of old. Kind of old. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate this second NBA season. If we can make it to the playoffs, I'll feel good about that going into the third season at least. Guys, we are currently a 500 team after losing to the Detroit Pistons. It's not where I was expecting us to be at this point. Um, as much as I hate to do it, one of my favorite coaches of all time. I think I got to let him go, guys. I think I got to let go of Rick Carlisle. And I got to fire him from the team. Because we're looking to win now. We're looking to be amazing out here, man. We're looking to be the best team 
well, not the best team in NBA history. But yes, let's look at some coaches here, guys. Uh, we already got Otis Newman, B plus, B plus. It's probably as good as it's going to get right there. Uh, you don't really get any, like, A guys at this point. At least, well, I guess we'll check. Yeah, I don't think you do. Yeah, Otis, probably our best bet here, man. We're going to give him a nice little contract, get him signed up. He's our new coach of the team. Okay, let's sit with the rest of the season. See if it makes a difference. So it turns out getting a head coach that actually fits your style of your team is actually really important in NBA 2K20. Um, as bad as I feel about Rick Carlisle, guys, since we fired him, we only took four L's. And we are currently like the hottest team in the NBA right now, guys. Look at all these W's, man. W's across the board. So one more game against the Memphis Grizzlies, and we finished with a record of 52-30. and 30. That was after being 26 and 26. So, yes, uh, definitely support the choice there, despite it being one of my favorite coaches of all time. LaMelo Balgan, all rookie first team, making a big time difference. Okay, we are the fourth seed in the Western Conference. Score the player stats on the season, real quick here. Uh, we got Porzingis at 27 10. He's killing it at the center spot, guys. Colin Sexton, 18 points, about four or five assists. Luka Doncic at 17, 7 and 7, and closer to 8, I would say. LaMelo has 16.7 assists. Kevin Love with a double-double out there. Really, as like the fifth option, still dropping 15 points is absolutely beautiful. And, of course, Tim Hardaway, Seth Curry all bringing that scoring off the bench. The line right, the defense. Boban with, uh, you know, being Boban out there. There it is, guys. And I know we are the fourth seed, but we were kind of, you know, had a small, had a, had a slow start to the season. That's not a team I want to play in the playoffs. I might want to play the Clippers either. I'm sure they don't want to play us either, though, man. But, yeah, simulate rounds. See how this goes? Come on, guys. Come on, let's, win, let's just win the championship this season. We'll be good to go, man. It'll be a great rebuild. Okay, um, got them four games to one. Close out game 30. Oh, that's why I brought this man on the team, guys. 39 points. We got a 20-20 game for Chris Tops Porzingis. 17 for LaMelo Ball. Have I called him Lonzo at all in this video? I feel like I probably did it at least once. Uh, simulate round here against the Los Angeles Lakers. And so far, we have 2-1, two, two games apiece. 3-2, and we are in the Western Conference Finals. Uh, we got Porzingis, 41 points, 18 rebounds. Oh, my God, man. i never seen a guy down there like this on 2K before. Next up, Portland. Simulate round here, guys. Come on, man. Y'all can get the point. Oh, but yo, that looks too easy. And we got the fourth seed, Brooklyn Nets, in the uh, NBA Finals here. 31 points for Chris Stops, 23 for LaMelo, 14 and 16 for Kevin Love. Here we go, man. Simulate round right here. See how this goes. And there we go, guys. Took us two seasons to win that NBA championship. Chris Stops Porzingis, your finals MVP. 34 points, 12 rebounds, over two blocks per game. Playing absolutely out of his mind, really, this entire video, guys. And uh, we are going to go with the playoff stats just so you guys can see this. That's how everybody performed in the playoffs. My dude, Colin Sexton, who I knew going into this video is somebody I wanted to get. Like, I I wasn't sure if he was going to be the starter or, like, the sixth man to start off. But regardless, man, he didn't end up being my starter. 84 overall player seems like the perfect fit on this team for me man but yes uh thank you guys so much for watching this video once again i do apologize if i sound a little off at all um i won't show it to you guys but like right here on my lip i got like a freaking sore that damn big guys like a damn canker sore i don't know if you guys are get those before they're the absolute worst nearly impossible well, i don't want to say impossible because i'm literally doing it right now but it's very painful to talk through so uh yeah over the course of the next few days and really going on to the like prior few days, if I do sound off, it is because of that. Um, that's why I didn't post any videos yesterday. I never do that. I always post at least uh, something either on the main channel or the second channel, Extra Crispy. But I'm trying to fight through the pain because I want to entertain you guys and you guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.